Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're playing Buck. It's been a long time since I've said that. We're playing him on Payload Hidden Temple with a 14 Makoa that looks absolutely adorable. Look at him! Adorable and terrifying at the same time. A Pip, a Willow, and a Shaolin. The only diamond in this match. That's the first time I've been queued uh, with people who aren't, like, above me. That's weird. We're going against a Makoa, a Drogos, a Damba, a Meave, and a Victor. Alright, let's get it. I haven't played Buck in ages. In my entire time playing competitive, I haven't seen him once. I played him once myself and actually won, so I have got a game in to practice this. I'll show you the lure that we're using in a second. There's two ways you can build him. Shout out to Zenivari. He is the Makoa, who, again, just looks adorable. How can you... How could you hate that skin? It, it'd be impossible. He looks so happy. Alright, so I'll show you the loadouts. I'll show you the legendary, because you can either build him for net shots, so that when you net people, they take a bunch of extra damage, or you can build him so that when you jump on people, you deal damage. There's two different ways. It depends if you want to jump around everywhere, or if you want to be more stationary and... How much movement you want to have depends on, I guess, how well you flank. Considering we're playing Payload, it probably makes more sense to go for Ensnare or Bounce House. I mean, Bounce House but works best if you're flanking a lot. You can go bulk up, but personally, I'm not playing him as, like, a tank flank. I'm playing him as just a damage flanker, so... I don't know what to go for. I don't know. Should we go for Bounce House against that team? Against that team? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do Bounce House. Sure. So the loadout for Net Shot's that one. The loadout for the Jumping one is this one. Oh, cards. Cauterize. Life Rip. Krodos? That's probably wrong, but we're wrong with it anyway. If you don't know his kit and the way he plays, just go ahead and pause the video. Let's go. Let's go do the thing. How much does the net shot do? 50% slow. Jesus. We're here just in time. Perfectly in time, actually. Hello, everybody. It's a me. Uh, what's going on? So you have a pretty short cooldown on all your abilities. Oh, he's very dead. Hello. Hello, Meave. Oh, we actually got her. She was just outside the door. Hello. Whoa, there's the initial lag that everybody gets. Can we kill him? Oh, he's so low. I'm going to jump in. Oh, you, know, you ain't fucking with Buck. So a lot of people think Buck is really bad. That's why nobody plays him. I don't know why nobody plays him, actually, because I personally think he's pretty decent. He's not as terrible as everybody makes him out to be. I think he's pretty much on par with Grok. Everybody hates him, or at least thinks he's not very good, but the people that do play him tend to do really well with him, unless they're very bad. I don't think there's, like, a middle ground with Buck. You're either really good or pretty bad. I don't know what this Willow's doing. Did she get him? Let's look at the kill feed. I think the Shaolin did. Tiny Monk. What a name. Oh, he's got the Makoa voice back, too. What's Buck's one like? Oh, he's a, he's a very manly buck. Okay. Hello. Well, that knockback is way bigger than I remember. Okay, we're just gonna hop out here. You do have a pretty viable escape with your jump every couple of seconds. Oh, wow. Who followed me? Victor followed me? Did he sprint after me? Oh, he did. He wanted me dead. Oh, the gun looks cool. Can't even be mad. The gun looks too cool. What was that? It's not 25%. I don't want them to win this. That Makoa hook is so, so messed up. I don't think you should get a longer duration, depending on how, like, far you hook them. I think there should be a set stun distance on it. That'd probably be too hard to do, though. Let's go flank the payload. Is anybody even pushing it? It's not gone very far. Uh, Drogos, you were just on the ground there. I don't know how that just happened. Jumped into three of them. Bad idea. Willow should have queued there, and she would have got, like, a quadra kill if she threw a queue down that hallway. There we go. We've still got this. Makoa's gone for the legendary that drops his shield down. I've never really understood that one. I guess it kind of works for this, for payload. But I've always I've always found the other ones to be more useful, especially the hook shot one, the one that gives you extra damage after your first shot. Against a team like that, he would clean up. He'd just hook Maeve and nearly insta-kill her. Hello, Maeve. Speaking of, I was just I was just speaking about you. What's up? Oh, she's so low. Yes! He's I think he's actually the only character in Paladins that has a variable reload as well. So depending on how many shots you have um, missing from your gun, it'll take you longer to reload or shorter. We've got a skin on him, obviously. This isn't what he looks like by default. Hello? What's going on? What's popping? <laughs> Get out of my personal space. I just heard that voice line. Oh, no. I'm probably very dead here. Ah, no. I don't have my jump up. Jump away. That Victor's just going to chase me down. Should we ult and turn the table? Hello? You weren't expecting that, were you? Your ult is really, really strong as Buck. Possibly one of the strongest in the game if you use it properly, but also one of the weakest if you mess it up. He's one of those characters that you can either do really well with or terribly. What just happened? Can you be a bit more buggy, please? I don't think that bugged enough. 
Can you die? Uh, that was so buggy. I like, I got feared in the air and then just kind of slid down. Really? That was so dumb. I had a double kill there and that got taken away from me. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Like, that wasn't even funny. Usually that sort of, sort of stuff's funny, but I had a double kill there and I got that taken away from me. I shouldn't have like slow mode once I was feared. I don't want to walk around here just yet because I'm blind. Hello. Didn't really want to have to kill you. Have you even noticed me yet? Hello. I just realized how high you jump. You hu you jump nearly as high as a Drogo's as F goes up. Wait, I have cauterized. Oh, I've only got cauterized one. Uh, nearly dead. Nearly dead. Your F doesn't take you out of combat, though, which is nice. Doesn't put you into combat, sorry. Oh, is this a Makoa fight? What's going on here? It's a Makoa v Makoa. He just tried to hook him. Uh, F. Oh, that was a nice combo. He's dead. Get off that 12 streak, boy. Hello, Damba. Again, you guys are just coming to me here. Oh, terrible time for me to ult. That's what happens when you ult the wrong time. You ult, you get hooked, because it doesn't give you CC immunity. I think it, it used to, maybe, but don't quote me on that. It doesn't anymore, that's for sure, as you just saw. I got shredded a little bit. Oh, well. Let's just jump back into the fight, because I did put it on cooldown. Hello, Mr. Makoa. Oh, come on. You should be dead. <laughs> oh, wow, he's, like, right there. He's not happy with me. We took him off his 12th streak. And he's dead again. Freaking ragdoll effect. Mental. Let's go. Can we kill this Damba? Where's he gone? Hello, Victor. Hello. Did he just shout bend over? Or did he say I'm jumping over? I had no idea what he just said. I think it might have been bend over. It's a child-friendly game, Buck. You can't be saying things like that. Hello. Hello again. I, we, I mean, we seem to, seem to consistently fight this Drogos here. And we usually win, which is good. I mean, we do have a shotgun, so we shouldn't be. What are you doing? That's so stupid! Ah! This game's annoying me right now. I'm, I'm trying to take it in the lightest way possible, but that hook, like, he hooked me, but then I was kind of lingering for a second. I don't know why. Not as dumb as the fear early, obviously. I don't think you could actually do a dumber thing than that if you tried. That was just broken. Like, I slow-mo fell for no reason, and that was quite upsetting. Hello? Okay, there's nobody here just yet. Let's just chill in here. We have the advantage if we're inside. There we go. Net shot. Oh, no. F. F. Whoa. Okay, we got a kill. I'll take it. Do they know I'm here? Do they know I'm here? I don't think they know I'm here. I, I died. I couldn't actually do anything. He's not very good in multi-target situations. He's much better on one-on-one. -on -one. Like, if you jump a Kinesi, you're going to destroy her. If you jump a Strix. But if you're in a multiple team fight, you don't really have much area damage. You're very, very single target. Is anybody going to jump on it? Pip. I didn't even realize we had a Pip for so long. They've got a minute and ten to push it like 5%. They just took a Drogo's Q to the face. Jesus. I just took that for the Makoa. Alright. I don't think he was even aiming for me there. Or was he? I think he was aiming for that Makoa because he looked at him as I as I got hit. Pip, you, you need to heal people. Has he ulted? His ult's down. I can't remember Pip ulting. I must have been dead. Uh, hello. What are you doing? I missed that, really? Okay, hello again. Ah, this is so stupid right now. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Round two. I mean, at least we're going to kill this Makoa. Did I kill him? I can't tell. I killed him. Yay. <laughs> oh, they pushed it to 100%. No. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen now. I feel that we might actually lose this. But this, this obviously doesn't mean that Buck's a bad decision. I think he's a bit awkward. He's definitely... Not your standard flanker, because he's quite beefy. He's got 3,000 health nearly. He's got a 1,000 more than Eevee has. You've got mobility, you've got heals, you've also got a cripple. He's pretty strong. Does it always cripple? No, it just slows. I thought it crippled too. Uh, no, he's, he's a weird flanker. I feel like you could put him in maybe a tank class, and he'd still do well, but he doesn't sit on objectives very well. He, he feels awkward. He just doesn't fit into paladins properly. But you can definitely still play him. He just wouldn't be a top pick for me as a flanker. A lot of fun, though. You want to have fun and just jump around everywhere and shoot people with shotguns. You should go for it. Hello, Meave. Don't know what you're going to do from here. Hello. Did I just kill that Meave by essentially squishing her? Oh, I'm out of here. Later, Victor. Just going to pop in here and heal up real quick. Thank you very much. Let's hop out and go back into the into the fight. I went for Cauterize 2 just straight from the bat. Oh, I thought I could jump over that. Oh, well. You actually got quite a bit of damage at a distance as well. Hello. Ah! Okay, Charlin saved me there quite a bit. I thought I was going to die. We might be able to push this. We might actually be able to win. I thought we were screwed, but we still stand a chance. Meave's just chilling inside there. We need to try and take him one at a time. 
which on payload isn't easy. Hello. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful headshot right there. A beautiful headshot, if I do say so myself. Let's just keep pegging him. Oh, I'm looking at jumping this victor right now. Yes, there we go. If you go for one person at a time, you can do this so much better. Uh, he's so close to being dead, but I can't finish him. Ah, okay. He's so close. Did he just hook me out of my jump? You shouldn't even be able to do that. Where are you? Okay, we won that fight in the end just about. Pip healed me for 2.4k. But man, Makoa counters buck heavy. Didn't even realize. Just pick up that last kill. Thank you very much. Ah, two people at a time. We're going for it. We're going for it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm so dead. Am I dead? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. No. Okay. We're actually doing all right. Right now, I'm 25 to 8, which isn't perfect, but it, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. We're doing okay. Charlene, it shouldn't be the one pushing the objective. That's for sure. Meeb's in there with Damba. All right. Let's jump up here. Oh, okay. Managed to spread out my damage there. Damba's gone. Nice. I haven't actually seen Damba use his F properly yet. Oh, hello. You certainly weren't expected to be knocked forward there because the card gives us a little bit of a knockup, which is nice. Oh, yes. We are shredding right now. We're actually doing well as freaking Buck. Who would have thought? I just haven't seen anybody play Buck in absolutely ages. Who still plays Buck? Does Buck still even exist if nobody plays him? God knows. Is it like that tree in the forest sort of thing? Can you not do that, please? Oh, you're going to kill me. If I can't land a shot, she's going to kill me. Ah. The only thing is I don't like his reload. It takes forever. Would probably recommend getting... Okay. Just killed that freaking Makoa there. I would recommend getting Death Hands if you don't need Cauterize or stuff like that. I can't do anything when I can't spin fast enough to see who's trying to kill me. I <laughs> like three people on me there. We have got three minutes and a half... And then a little bit more to push this. We really should be able to. Let's get life. I'm going to get nimble this time and haven. Let's go. I'm ready. This is so much fun. Even though we're not really doing that great with 30 to 9. This is just so much fun to jump on somebody and kill them by literally squishing them. It's, it's freaking awesome. The fact that you can headshot too makes you be able to deal like a K at a time if you're accurate enough. Hello. Eh, there we go. Man, it's actually finished. It's like a ranged shotgun. The reload is bugged though. The animation is lo loading the shell into nothing. Oh, fuck him up. No. Yes, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, that's two. Oh, shit. This is their spawn. We don't want to be here. This is a bad place to be. Don't want to be here. Let's just let's move out a little bit. Might as well ult. The game's going to be over now anyway. That's a shredded game right there. Thank you very much. 100 to 100. And we win. I, I actually didn't expect to win that. I thought we were going to lose. Buck. He still exists. And he's not that bad. Give him a go. We didn't get top player. I didn't expect to. Drogos did, though. 17 Drogos, who's only gold. It's kind of weird. Let's see what this is. Is this going to be the one where you just queues two people down? <laughs> that was a good play. And then I just take a fist. He clearly wasn't aiming for me there. He was going for the for the, for the the Makoa and I took a shot for the team. What a game. That was a lot of fun. I'm best flank. Hey. Okay. Not bad. 79k damage. I'll take it, to be honest. We had the most damage in the game, other than the Drogos. And the fact that Buck is competing with Drogos is is kind of indica indicative that he's not as bad as you may think. Definitely recommend giving him a go. He's just awkward. He doesn't fit in with Paladins as well as all the other characters do. But that doesn't mean he's any less fun. I don't know if I'd recommend him for people that are new, but if you've been playing it for a while and you've maybe never tried Buck before... Give him a go. He might not be for you, though. Like I said, he is pretty awkward. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. See you guys all very, very soon. Let me know who you want to see me play next in the comments. And as always, stay frosty.